Cab drivers in New York are not usually known for their mastery of the English language. I don't speak too much English. And that's probably not going to change. A new law aimed at creating a uniform licensing process for drivers has done away with the written English test that used to be required for anyone wanting to drive a yellow cab. The universal license bill allow for drivers in the delivery, black car, and taxi sectors to move seamlessly from sector to sector. Councilman Rodriguez used to be a livery driver and introduced the bill. He says the change will open up jobs for many, especially recent immigrants who make up 96% of the 144,000 cabbies in the city. It is a step into the middle class for many and we should be removing barriers to entry rather than keeping them in place. But some taxi drivers disagree with loosening the rules. So I think with English, it's, it's, it's definitely a very important and required language that every yellow cab driver or a livery cab driver should be able to speak. Moving forward, drivers will still have to take a test, but it will be offered in several languages. Melchizede Abreu, originally from the Dominican Republic, says his test to become a livery driver was all in Spanish. And also I work for Uber, the, most of the passengers, they don't speak Spanish. 95% of them from downtown, they speak English. But they, they never talk to me. They just get in the car, I got the destination, drop them, thank you, thank you, have a good day, have a good day, that's it. Some passengers welcome the change. Frankly, I don't think they need to. As long as they can communicate basic uh, information, they should be fine. But others say it's a bad idea and that a good command of English should still be required. This is America, I don't think anybody should forget who they are. My family's Italian, they came from Italy. Um, they still speak Italian, but they speak English too. You know, I think that's very, very important. The city also once required a geography test, which also has been dropped in recent years with the widespread use of GPS. Ezra Kaplan, Associated Press, New York.